It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a really, really special beer. We've got something from these guys, Brewer Kingpin in Poland, and it's their Rock and Roller Pale Ale, coming in at 5.3% ABV. Look at that artwork. That artwork, that label is striking. That really kind of stands out and barks at you when you're standing in the beer store wondering what to choose this jumps at you. Black bottle cap on this one. And before I get it out, I had a message last Saturday uh, whilst I was in the pub from Michael Kopik in Poland. He said, I've got involved with a new brewery, a few, a few guys in Poland. Here they are. Enjoy, greetings, Bartek, Marek, Wojtek, Michael from the Kingpin crew. There you go. So these are the people involved with the brewery. And I spoke to Michael last Saturday and he said, would you like to try our beers? Or two of our beers, I've got two of his beers and a fantastic t-shirt. Look at this marketing, look at that. That is, it's great. It feels good, real good quality shirt. The beer, well, look at that. Doesn't that look great? American Pale Ale, it's gonna look very orange. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we, what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. It's not really smoke, but uh, hey ho, it's a bit of fun. Now then, right, okay, here's the disclaimer. The beer is very hazy. It's been traveling through Poland all the way to the UK and it's not had time to settle. So this would have been a very clear glass of beer, I'm pretty sure of it. But it's come, it's arrived, I wanted to get it done, I'm really excited, so it's gonna taste the same, it just looks a little hazy. One finger of head, loads of carbonation, and just last week I was telling you guys in Poland that this was my last beer from, from Poland, it was a Tisky beer. Um, I was doing it because um, I, got, I know some great people in Poland and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, let's get the aroma first. Let, let's dive into the beer review and I'll tell you a little bit more about how I met Michael, Michael Kopik later on. <laughs> and pow! Stone the Crows. What an absolutely fantastic aroma on this beer. It's nettly, like stinging nettles. It's grapefruity. It's a little biscuity in the aroma. Orange, lemon, blood orange, like you've just sunk your teeth into an orange peel. Ah, it just, it's got a very, very aromatic aroma. Great. I have to dive into this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh my goodness me. Stone the crows. Oh, Blimey, where do I start with this beer? It just keeps on pulling, pulling at the back of my, my palate. There's a lovely bitterness just here, just on the inside of the cheeks. It's, it's a beer that's been thought about quite a lot. The reason is, it's hugely balanced. There's a big sweet element up front and then that passes and it goes straight over to being a fantastic bitter grapefruity beer. Orange, mango, all them lovely pale stone fruit flavours you get from this style of beer. But the balance is superb. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, blimey, blimey, blimey. This is the markings of a great beer. This is very, very technical. This is pulling my brain from one half to the other. I just don't know where to start with it. There is so much going on. Right, first of all, drinkability. The drinkability of this beer is very important. There's loads of big flavours, there's loads of sweetness, there's loads of bitterness. But what impresses me about this beer is so is how the beer is so, so drinkable. It's so refreshing. It's some big hoppy beers, they kind of stick to your mouth and they're a little gloopy and they're kind of medium mouthfeel, medium body beers. This it's just so very drinkable. It's so very refreshing. That's the first thing to go with that balance. The carbonation levels of the beer also are great. It's a little kind of zingy carbonation. It kind of it just kind of puckers up on your palate, pushes the beer around on the inside of the mouth. To, to hit all of your palate because you have taste buds all down the back of your throat, the inside of your, che of your cheeks. So when the carbonation zings and springs on your tongue, it pushes the beer around and it hits all of them taste buds. So you're having 100% of a hit of them hops from the beer. Let's talk about them hops then. They're not overly done. And that's what impresses me here with this pale ale. It's not 90 IBUs. It's not 100 IBUs. It's probably between 60 and 80. And in that respect, that lets the beer by itself. It buys another one. You drink one of these, you think, I will have another one. Because the bitterness has not ripped the back of my palate clean off. The sweetness up front, I cannot emphasize it enough, that lovely sweetness and then that bitterness, the balance of the beer. It's like it's like a circus act. It's like somebody's walking across a tightrope and the balance is absolutely spot on. But then the hops. I promise to talk about the hops. They're just, they're just used correctly. They're used in a way to give flavour, real flavour to this beer. Grapefruit, mango, pineapple, lemon, lemon peel, blood orange, blood orange peel, like you're sinking your teeth into a blood orange. It's a cracking beer, a cracking beer. Before I rate it, I promise to talk about Michael Kopik. Um, I first met Michael out in Oroslav back in May. We had a fabulous time. We drank some beer. I first of all, it was it was a strange thing because um, I met him on stage. Um, I didn't meet him before that, so I met the first time I kind of set eyes on this guy, um, big guy, huge muscles, um, was on a stage in Roslav, and we talked. Um, after we got off the stage, after we were talking to the people of Poland about beer, or the people of the beer festival about beer, um, 
I then bumped into him over the, the following day or so. And then before I was to come home, back to uh, Stansted, back to Wales, uh, we, I, I had breakfast with him. We were in the same hotel and I was having breakfast, ready to get on my aeroplane. And I sat with him and we talked beer and we talked food. We were eating breakfast. And he told me about his YouTube channel. I didn't think he was going to go into brewing at that stage. He must have been planning this for a while because um, this is this is very, very careful planning here. This is very good marketing. Very, very good thought about this. This must have been six months in the planning. So this, even when we were having breakfast, even though we probably, probably didn't want to talk about the brewery at that stage, um, it was probably in motion. It was probably in planning. So yeah, we talked about his YouTube channel and his blogging. And then I come back to Britain. <coughs> After brewing with Pinter, call me Simon. And I went back out then uh, about two months later to launch Call Me Simon at Zewicz, Zewicz Beer Festival in Poland. Um, went to the House of Beer, great place in Krakow. Um, we went over to Zewicz in Poland uh, after that for the beer festival and boy what three days they were. Judging, drinking, eating, the hospitality was great. Again I had the chance to meet Michael again, we had a chat. Um, he liked my beer, called me Simon, and again, no, um, I asked him about, it was late in the night, and I asked him a little bit about what he was doing, and he, and he was talking about the technical side of brewing, that was his kind of speciality, and um, so this all comes together, this story comes to this beer, how technical this beer is. So his interest in brewing is technical. He wants to get things right. He wants to, to make things perfect. And I think his first beer is absolutely perfect. Well done. Well done, Michael Kopik. And the rest of the guys, of course. Bartek, Marek, Wojcik, and, yeah, and Michael. So thanks, guys. I really appreciate you sending me this beer. Um, I'm not just standing here... Um, making any of this up. This is, this is um, a real beer review. This is my real thought on this beer. As I always am very truthful, I think this is an absolutely wonderful American Pale Ale. Time for rating. There is nothing, nothing I can take away from this beer. Look at the product. Look at that lacing on the glass. Six Point Brewing in America called their Bengali Tiger. Bengali Tiger because of the stripes on the glass. Look at them stripes. That is the Polish Bengali Tiger. Look at the way the beer looks in the glass. Absolutely wonderful. A lovely orange pale ale. I described the aroma, I described the taste, it is all fantastic. This beer gets a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Guide, Real Ale Craft Beer even. Um, check out Brewer Kingpin, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.